So, it's later in the day. Um, I think the last thing that you guys would have saw was I went to spin this morning and then I went and got a smoothie. Um, I've been working from home this morning. I did get all of my work done, so I'm actually already clocked out for the day. Showered, I have self-tanned. Now I'm gonna pack, actually, because I am going to Missouri this weekend. Uh, my friend Jessica is having her bridal shower, and I'm actually a bridesmaid uh, in her wedding coming up. So, super exciting. Um, I luckily don't have to bring bridal shower gift um, because I had it sent to my parents house since they live uh, nearby where the bridal shower is gonna be just having to decide like what I want to pack so I figured I would kind of walk you guys through like my strategy for how to pack oh everything is kind of it's a disaster because I don't know where to start I have everything laid out um, Mainly on this trip, I'm just going to be in athletic clothes and loungewear. I am bringing two dresses. I'm also having two dresses be sent to my parents' house. I'm bringing two in case that I don't like those. I have some things in here. But I'm actually just gonna take them out so that I can reorganize. The suitcase that I use for traveling, I absolutely love Calpac. Um, I've had this suitcase three years now and I absolutely love it. Um, it definitely has been worn in. Um, you know, if I would have just had this as a carry-on, there wouldn't have been as many scratches, but um, you know, sometimes I will just check my bag because it's easier. But that is another reason why I got the hard case because, um, you know, I have had the fabric suitcases and they end up looking more worn faster. I like it, um, it's great, it's a lot of room. I do wanna get the bigger suitcase as well. I just haven't had a reason to necessarily get the bigger case. We'll be bringing some shorts. So I have one, two, I'm wearing one that I'm packing. It's just gonna be a plain black pair. Two, three hottie hots, a line shorts, definitely bringing those. I have a pair of black joggers. Um, and then I have three pairs of leggings, so one pink and two black. And I'm bringing three tank tops and then one the Train to Be short sleeve. I do have a mini hair dryer. I don't, I honestly just have it in here because it's cute and it's, you know on the go. I think I'm gonna bring it because I'm going to my mom's, my parents' house. So she obviously has a hair dryer. Just have, in case of emergency, you know, the girl things, and medicine. So I have that all in here. Oh gosh, that's not all of it. I also have um, one key thing that I always recommend doing um, because of personal experience. I recommend putting your socks, bras, and underwear like in a discreet bag because um, you know I have had the instance where I had to open up my suitcase at security and it goes off, you have to open it up and my bra and underwear are just like flying Whoa. out. Now I put it in a black baggie and you're good. If you ever do have to get it checked for some reason. Um, sometimes it just likes to go off just to, you know, excite everybody. I'm checking in here because I definitely don't have a nude bra and I definitely need that. I like to roll my shorts. I find that it's easier to put everything in. A big tip that I've always heard is pack, or not pack, um, wear the bulkier items that you're going to bring on your trip on the flight. I find that that works during the winter and fall, but for spring and summer, honestly, I, you know, one, I'm not wearing denim shorts on a flight, and two, typically I don't have bulky items. I do have these Doc Martens, and I thought about bringing them because I thought it might be a cute look at the fair. But now that I'm thinking about that, wearing these to the fair sounds like an awful idea. So, 
I don't think I'm gonna bring these. This is all of my toiletries. So actually, I have pretty much all my toiletries. I didn't have to buy anything because I had plenty of left over. So I always make sure that I have razors, um, my acne medication, a scrunchie, and um, shampoo, uh, heat protectant, dry shampoo, except this one's almost done, but I will just go to Walmart once I'm there. This is actually amazing. It's a wrinkle releaser, uh, face wash, sunscreen, body wash. It has all of my makeup. These are from Lululemon. I'm not sure what they are. I don't think we have them anymore at the store. Um, I had gotten it over like holiday season. And I love it for all of my toiletries. And it does come with like a clear insert. I did like using it for makeup, like uh, liquid items, but I like how you can like stack it up like this and then put the other one right in there and they fit perfectly so it's nice and organized. That one that. Um, I'm not, actually I'm not even gonna bring these white jeans anymore. I don't need them. I'm only bringing one pair of denim shorts because I doubt I even wore them. One, two, three, four shirts, like t-shirts. The white dress is for the concert. This Zara button up. I almost don't think I'm gonna bring this because I, I'm not gonna wear it. I'll bring it just in case. Oh, forget about all types of things. You remind me of the Arizona thunder. Satisfy the times and make you wonder about the Okay, I cannot turn the air off because it's too hot, but I went and got my eyebrows threaded. I always feel like a new person when I get my eyebrows threaded. I feel good. Back for vacay, and then I popped into Nordstrom. I had saw these glasses originally. I think Maddie, um, a YouTuber, I was watching somebody's uh, vlog and they had gotten these. I can't remember who I was watching, but they're the key. Um, hi, what are these? The high key rimless matte glasses, and they're originally 65, but they were on sale for $42.90. So I thought that was a really good deal, and I've been looking at these, they're really nice. Um, and I have a pair of Oakley's that I wear, but they're kind of, I mean, they're men's glasses and I'll have to find them, but I'm obsessed with this one. I love it. This is what they look like on. I feel like they look very sleek, chic, like, ooh, who is she? So I love these. Um, if I'm able to get this video up, somewhat quickly the sale ends on the 8th which is Sunday so I definitely recommend even ordering these I am super pleased with them and really glad that I got them so they come in this cute like clear sunglass case so love that um, I think I'm gonna drive over to Ulta and get some concealer because I'm low. I use, um, actually I do have 
some ColourPop concealer. You know what, I think I'm just gonna use that. We're fine. I'm not gonna go to Ulta. I take that back. Um, eventually, I do need to get some self-tanner, but um, I, don't, I don't want to today because I still have a little bit left and I just don't feel like paying $40 for self-tanner at the moment. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to buy it when I come back to town. So I'm gonna drive home. Uh, Jordan should be off of his flight really soon and heading home. I think we're gonna go to the movie theater, uh, the second, it's not the sequel, I guess what I've been told, uh, Suicide Squad came out and it looks really good. So I think we're gonna go see that tonight. Um, and then I have to, we have to get up early. I mean, both of us, because Jordan's gonna have to drive me to the airport. And yeah, head to the airport in the morning. So kind of chill. I had the worst experience with my sushi today. So I had gone and picked up lunch and brought it home and ate it and I was so excited. I got sushi, edamame, even got a crab wonton because I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it. And uh, guys, it was horrible because I found not one, not two, not three, but four like men's hair pieces in my sushi, like around it. And I mean, guys, I'm, I kid you not, it was like, half the size of my nose. It was disgusting. I saw one, picked it off, and I was like, oh, I don't know if I can do this, because I was like halfway through my sushi. And then, guys, when I rolled it over, I picked it up and looked at the bottom, I about threw up. It was like all on the bottom of like my spicy tuna like at least four pieces and I, I can't go back to that place. It was Jordan and I's favorite place to go to. Not a lot of people would go there and now I'm like, I can't go back. I can't because I, all I can see in my head is the exact hair follicles on my sushi and disgusting so I can't do it I'm really sad because we I really like that place and I haven't told Jordan yet because he's obviously on a flight so can't wait to tell him about that um but yeah I'm just gonna head home unless because I really I do kind of want to go to Nordstrom Rack just to walk around because I haven't walked around Nordstrom Rack we're gonna go to Nordstrom Rack but I'm not gonna spend money so I gotta contain myself and then I need to paint my nails tonight I don't want to go pay to get them done. I just want to use my gel manicure. So, got some smoothies. Huh? I just want to be free from the free. Feel love for the first time. I just want to love something about me. See something to open my eyes. Don't want to be the only one with the house key. Have something I'm proud of. We were living in my dreams Cause in another world you'll come with me And we'd be out of sight, out of mind Driving windows down with your head in line Out of sight, out of mind This is the best for fast food So badly, I'm feeling so alone. 